maybe the dollar might want to complete this on Thursday. But Thursday is what day of the week? That's the day that generally caps the weekly range. Now, when it doesn't, Wednesday could always be a factor. Now, here's one of the takeaways from this lesson today, because we're talking about weekly profiles, completing PD arrays. In other words, we traded up into a premium array that we were anticipating as an upside target. We were inside the volume and bounds, then we noted the gap, and then we have all of these signatures completing, consequent encroachment. The question is, is where does the interbank algorithm change its state of delivery from bullish to bearish? Yes, we've seen the break in the market structure there, but when does the algorithm actually change its state of delivery? Last up, close candles. Notice this candle's close is higher than this one over here. Even though this one wicks through, this is the order block. These three consecutive up close candles, that is your bearish order block. The opening price there, if price trades below that, which it does right there, that is exactly when the change in the state of delivery occurs. So we had a bullish delivery and then it becomes bearish right there at that moment. That right there is what makes the order block an order block. It's not just an up close candle or a down close candle like all these yahoos on Instagram, YouTube. Everybody wants to say it like they're informed, but they have no idea what's going on. Zero. But this change in the state of delivery, the algorithm is now changing gears and now moving to price lower. Not buyers coming in or sellers coming in and influencing the market because of their pressure. That's not what this is. It's the changing of the state of delivery, which occurs right there. Now, that's not the only one. You have a secondary one, one right here. So we have an up close candle again prior to this decline. So this is your bearish order block. This is your bearish propulsion candle. Okay, so this propulsion block eats into this bearish order block. And then we have a change in the state of delivery again right there. Now, when that occurs, yes, we have a fair value gap there that can come back up and trade into that, but it's not likely to. And you have to have two procedures that begin at that moment. Always anticipate the likelihood of this coming back up in the field, but I'll show you what you have to do in terms of hierarchy for logic. Okay, so from a programmer's stance and also how the algorithm will refer to these PD arrays, this could always be a bearish order block that's traded back up into. But all of this narrative here will cancel that out in a moment as I go back through with you. So the change in the state of delivery going lower begins right at that opening price on this candle. As soon as it trades through it, now the algorithm is delivering on a sell side. So basically, the algorithm enters a sell program. Once this occurs, price will start to go lower, attacking what? Any imbalance or... Sell side liquidity. Now, looking left of this opening price, where is there an imbalance? Because it's already seen it trade down, came back up, and then we came down again, and came back up again, and then left it. So it's not coming down to get an imbalance. It's going down here for liquidity, sell side liquidity. But now that run on the sell side liquidity coupled with the PD arrays that's been complete up here, and we have changed in the state of delivery, we can refer to this opening price and this new low. This right here is an IPTA data range for dealing. So in other words, an IPTA dealing range. So we're looking at the opening price down to that low. Trades back up into that daily bearish order block and sells off. Opening price on this bearish order block, drawn down to that low. I only extended it over to the right, so that way you can see how it trades up into optimal trade entry. So at the 62% tracement level there, we are definitely inside of a premium relative 
to this opening price and that low. So it trades back up in. Now, if you pull a FIB from, say, this high to that low, you do not get an optimal trade entry. But I taught you recently, using where the market changes its daily delivery, if you put your FIB there and anchor it down to your swing low or up to your swing highs, you'll see the Fibonacci's line up perfectly for optimal trade entry, which is why it is dubbed optimal trade entry. It's not the golden zone, okay, where everybody knows about the 79% tracement level and the 62% tracement level. That's not the magic. The logic is understanding that we had a breaker over here that completed at a premium array. We gave it the possibility or anticipated it rather continuing on Thursday and then maybe Thursday creating the high of the week as it trades up into the remaining portion of that volume imbalance premium high. But it didn't do that, and we'll come back to that in a moment. Now we're going to look at the secondary change in the state of delivery, which is this low here at the opening price there. When it creates that up-close candle, draw your fib from that down to the low. Same thing. You get essentially the 70.5 level, but optimal trade entry nonetheless. Market breaks. 